Hey, it's time for... A random group that I've not heard of. I don't... Who... I don't know what this is. I mean, I have an idea of what it is, right? I have an idea that it's like uh, some K-pop group put together. I saw the word super idol somewhere. The question you may have is, why am I making it? Uh, it's called views. Views and clicks. Selling out, selling out for the man, but not really selling out because I've done literally thousands of K-pop songs. Um, but this particular one is just because of FOMO. I'm like, I think, I mean, everyone's watching it, right? So like, I should watch it. Um, but that's the truth. That's the truth. When it comes to K-pop, I do love, uh, I do love some female groups. Probably Red Velvet. Is at the top for me. Then maybe Blackpink and I don't know Twice or something like that. Typically, I lean more towards the uh, male groups: NCT, EXO, BTS, uh, GOT7, and the solo work from from those groups. But anyways, that's called honesty. Now we know where we stand, and let's check this out. That's a chopped up sample of Gregorian chants, gotta be. And all, it sounds like it might actually be reversed or something. But that does sound like some... 50, I'm, I'm trying to think of like what n number to make up. Like 800 years ago? But chopped. Even if it's not reversed, it's definitely chopped. Whoa, it's a lot to take in. That chop sample versus the bass line, which is also weird. And then the vocals are just nice vocals. But that's a that's weird. I'm gonna back up. I don't even know how to feel about that. Oh, the slides on the bass are making the bass not hit in time all the time. And even the drum, the snare drum, sorry I'm talking so much, but I'm trying to like put this together in my head, like why it feels so weird. All of the elements that would normally hold a song together are all displaced. So the, the sample of the vocals, displaced. The way the bass is moving in the slide, displaced. And even the snare and the percussion is more off the so it's it's kind of like you don't know where home base is. Okay, at least it all came together. It's still weird, but it came together. I can already tell you what's up, how I feel about it. To me, this is like modern art. Like, I, I'm really enjoying hearing it and seeing it. But I don't... Like, I need to see it. Like, I need to see it and hear it because it's so different. But I don't think I like it. But I don't hate it. But I don't like it. It's just like an experience more than it is music. Also, when they're singing... Uh, the the melodies that they're singing are outlining the chords more than anything else because there's almost no chordal background. There's no rhythm section, keyboard, guitar, bass. Well, there's some bass. Um, it's basically those chopped vocals. 
It's really weird. It's that's really strange. But they're still dancing and acting as if it's a normal song, which is like so off-putting. Okay, so if you notice their movements, they're moving to the bass line and not to the drums. So the bass line is the rhythm, it's not the drums, which is almost like 1950s, 60s jazz, where you, nowadays we associate drums with the rhythm, but they're, they're actually moving to the bass line. Back up and watch the bass line move around and then watch their motions, they're actually moving to the bass line. <laughs> When I say that, I mean, okay, obviously they're doing rhythms on the snare drum, but all of these motions that happen in between the snare beats are all motions that coincide with the bass line. All right, I know I know how to put this now. And now I know what to do with this. Uh, it's like a history lesson that I read about. There was this time, I don't know, 1920s, 1930s or something. I don't know, dude, it was a history book. How, how am I supposed to know? Where it was choreography plus singing and instruments and stage design. I feel like this is designed to be everything all at the same time. And if you just had one, it would suck. I think maybe the song by itself is bad and the video without the song is bad and the vocals the vocals are probably the strongest part but the vocals without the track or the background is bad you need the vocals the dancing and the background and then it makes a kind of sense all together and it's an experience it's not meant i don't think at least not to me it's not meant for repeat viewing it's like oh i'm getting this this one time Dancing, fashion, backgrounds, singing, instrumentation, all of it together, not as a standalone thing at all. I think Stravinsky, I don't know, dude, I don't know, I never, I didn't go watch it, I don't know, but it, I feel like it's like Stravinsky had stuff like that, like Rite of Spring or something. It's like a history quiz. Oh yeah, it's Super Idols, I get it, it's Super Idols. Even those those uh, notes in the background music are like they sound like seconds. Seconds uh, is in a musical distance, like a C to D or D to E or E to F sharp. They sound very clashy. It sounds very much like turn of the century, nineteenth century music. Oh, did I skip it? What was there more? I'm gonna assume there wasn't. Um, So here's the funny thing about modern music is that maybe in a week or a month or a year, 
I would listen to that and be like, oh, that makes complete sense. Because that's what new stuff does. New stuff pushes the boundary forward. And then later on, everyone's like, it's not that big of a deal. I don't, I don't get the, you know, what's the problem? It's like nowadays when guitarists hear Jimi Hendrix, they're like, yeah, he's a great guitarist, but what's the problem? It's like, no, the problem was no one was doing that at the time. Same thing with the Beatles, same things with, with like uh, different types of rap or, or whatever the genre is. The people who are pushing the envelope, they're pushing it because it's not comfortable. Eventually, it becomes comfortable and then future people go, I don't see what the big deal is. So like to me, this is extremely radical for K-pop. Maybe it's as far as K-pop pop pop, like not K-R-N-B, but like K-pop, I would say this is one of the most outlandish songs I've heard. But maybe in five months I'll be like, nah, it just seems normal. I approve this message.